Alright, so we're with Receptive Pixel. Basically, we are uh, inventors of the multi touch technology. We're looking at a 55 inch LCD multi touch. We've also got a projected capacitive 27 inch um, device that's shipping this, uh, this quarter, 2560 by 1440 resolution. Um, very high quality display. This is an HD display. We're looking at an application we call Storyboard, which allows you to quickly pull together a variety of images and a variety of sources. Um, to create a compelling story to go on air with, to do mission planning, mission review, uh, just good corporate presentations. But regardless of where the content may be, I can quickly, let me start with something, um, just a clean slate, I can quickly go get assets that may be out there uh, in an asset management system. Uh, they may be uh, on the file system, they may be on a, uh, a video server. Those can be live interactive maps. Um, those can be, um, live video sources. One of the other features we're, we're uh, highlighting this year is the ability uh, via NVIDIA Quadro SDI to bring in 12 SDI streams into one Quadro 6000 card. Four of those streams are running uh, apps on four different systems. SDI out, we've got the uh, CNN election app, we've got WSI's uh, Max Storm, we've got VizRT, and we've got Google Earth. Um, and then we've got eight other live uh, HD streams coming in from a Grass Valley system that I can get, again, make part of my story uh, and interact with. So the TouchCast is the cool part of, uh, of, the really cool part of this is I can cast my touches into this other app. Um, and unlike a network VNC session that really is depending on the, the network latency, the SDI latency allows me to interact with that application and when I need to you know, do full on-air telestration. Um, that application could also be, uh, you know, one of the ones you already have existing in your network. Uh, perhaps the, uh, the uh, in this case, this is a VizRT scene. And let me go to rankings here. Why am I not, of course, interacting with this now? There we go. There's this little gray spot you have to hit to, to get these things to move. But very little latency. It doesn't know where my finger's about to go. Um, so it is truly um, interacting with the, the VizRT app. So you can still take advantage of the investment you made in VizRT, have that run on a server, or we can run it, run it locally as well. CNN Election App, again, running on another server, interacting with that, and zooming in as far as we need to be. Need to be. Um, all of this, again, being pulled in uh, via uh, Quadro SDI into the NVIDIA Quadro 6000 into our framework such that with a variety of content you have available, whether it's uh, Google Earth or maps or images or videos or pictures, you could tell a story like the following. Um, something happens that might be a bad thing. Let me go get, uh, let me go get uh, John King reporting live on the uh, situation in Japan. He's live on site. We've got another reporter outside the Fukushima plant. I want to get people to understand where Japan is. And first thing I go on there, I'm going to start. I want to start and basically tell people that start with the studio, familiarize people with with Japan and what's going on, where the incidents are, then perhaps go live to my reporter who's on site, and then go specifically and hone in on Fukushima. And as easy as coming in and interacting, just flicks of touch. My on-air talent can easily browse. When they interact with an application that is live, they can move that application, um, as well as do any telestration that they need to. Continue on to my on-site on reporter, then hone in on specifically the Fukushima plant. Once I've finished my story, um, say I go to commercial break and I want to add something to it. I've just had people send in pictures of some of the devastation that we've seen after the fact. And so, commercial break, I go grab some more content. And now I don't want to go straight to uh, Fukushima because I want to show people some of the devastation of what's happened. So I'm going to go right to that. Then I'm going to come down to my reporter and then close again with Fukushima. Again, I can go into visit uh, Google Earth if I need to. Some reports are just in from the scene. 
bad stuff happening, reporter on site at Fukushima, and then again, end with one's out, three's out. Really got to worry about two, and let's hope four doesn't happen. So quick, compelling content to go on air. Um, really powerful for the small call letter stations because uh, they don't necessarily have a huge graphics department, uh, green screens, um, and, and the on-air talent can be not just reporting the news, but truly analyzing and uh, reading the news. So 